G'day YouTube, this is just a quick video on some of the top new features of Linux Mint 17.3. Now this is by no means a review of any sort, just a quick video on what I think some of the top features are of this new distro. So getting into it, the this is actually a long term support release for Linux Mint, uh, supported until 2019 so that's great to see. They've also upgraded the kernel to, I believe, 3.19 from 3.16, but I might just quickly check that. There we go, great, 3.19. Now, it is also important to uh, note that they're allowing the Linux 4.2 kernel to also be available in the Linux Mint repository, so I'm sure, no doubt, a lot of people will be upgrading to that when this is officially released. Uh, moving on, the software sources have been updated to be faster and more stable and in particular we'll select the region or the actual mirror that's that's actually fastest at the time. So you can see here, I'm Australian, I'm in Australia, but uh, it's actually selecting a New Zealand mirror because it just so happens to be the fastest. So that's a great little feature there. Uh, next, of course, is the update manager, which is also able to show you if the mirror is up to date, or in particular, it will advise you if it's not up to date, which you won't see right there right now. It is, but um, but that's also a handy little feature as well, so there's no conflicting packages, that sort of thing in the future. Also, the, uh, the sound player has been upgraded a little bit. It's a little bit more robust, as you can see. It's not as long at the top. Uh, the overlay is sort of part of the CD case, that sort of thing. So that's, it's just a cool little graphical improvement there, I think. Uh, also, the power applet, where is that? Right here, is, uh, is actually upgraded to tell you multiple power sources such as a mouse or a laptop battery and also give you the, the brand name which is really really cool I think. Mm. So moving on we have uh, the graphical representations are, are showing now on here so if I just hover over these which is really the reason why I left it open is you can see that now that's probably been a long time coming but it's still pretty cool nonetheless and uh, a little bit Windows-esque Next up is the Alt F2 button, which has said to have been given some bug fixes, but uh, I'll just quickly show you because it also now does autocomplete, which is pretty nice. So if we type in something, we type in sin, cinnamon, and hot diggity, we have all of these options now. So that's really cool that they've got the autocomplete going on there. Uh, Nemo, the file manager Nemo has been given a bit of an update. Now it used to be 2.6, version 2.6, now it's moved to version 2.8. Uh, I, I can't see a lot of changes in it unfortunately. One pretty cool thing though is the ability to rename things with two clicks. So let's see if I can get that going. One, two, it's got to be slow clicks though. Now another bit of a Windows-esque feature which maybe should have been on the actual distro all along. So moving on, we also have uh, Hibernation now works for encrypted home folders, which I think is really cool because I always encrypt my home folder just to be, you know, that little bit extra safe, I suppose, but uh, hopefully no one's going to flog my laptop anytime soon anyway. And uh, a few general back-end performances improvements that I won't really get into, maybe for another video. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. Uh, that's some of the top new features that I've found in Linux Mint 17.3. I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, if I've left anything else, please leave a comment uh, and let me know what else you think is pretty cool about it. So cheers guys, thanks for your time and I uh, hope you've enjoyed.